entering the industry they do not f- perform the swot analysis you know swot analysis is very important for their that business uh, whether they are starting out uh, in, in a very slim budget or they have got immense budget I am Jitendra Singh. I welcome you to Read My Story, where I interview authors, speakers, coaches, celebrities, entrepreneurs, and more. Today, I have with me Mr. Abhishek Sareen. He is an executive director of Trident F&B Consultants Private Limited, a renowned kitchen, restaurant, and sweets business, and it is into consultancy. Uh, he has done bachelor's in hotel management and catering technology from Banarsi Das Chandiwala Institute of Hotel Management and Catering Technology, Guru Gobind Singh University, New Delhi. He has completed more than seven fifty. projects in hotel restaurant bakery sweets and snacks industry he is a recipient of many prestigious award including entrepreneur of the year best restaurant consultant business mentor grand master award global leader award 100 masterpieces award everest award his major expertise in planning execution and post opening streamlining so uh, today he will be discussing with us about his life's journey so let us hear from him welcome abhishek the platform is open and now over to you Jitendra, uh, for such an uh, amazing introduction, I would like to thank all your viewers and listeners uh, who will be uh, listening and viewing this uh, interview and uh, our our interaction. And uh, it's an amazing feeling coming and talking to you here. Wonderful. Looking forward to it. So, if I talk about your journey so far, uh, how did your past life has affected the person who you wanted to be in your life and what you are today? See, past lives are what makes an individual more introverted or extroverted, more thought or feeling oriented more structured or spontaneous and more intuitive or practical so i believe right. that an individual's attitudes belief perceptions interpretation are all molded by their past life okay. and person sitting next to you, i mean in front of you is no exception to this so i'll tell you a very interesting things two small incidents changed my life forever so uh, when i was in school i wanted to do engineering and okay. one day i was get, just getting bored at my home so i w- i just requested my father to take me along wherever he was heading to okay uh, he so in his car so he agreed uh, when we reached one place he gave me some money for lunch okay, and asked me to meet him at the same time at the same place at a particular time then he dispersed so i decided to go to a very famous restaurant over there as i was just standing in the queue uh, for billing i suddenly saw my father occupying a uh, you know center table in the restaurant and so many chefs senior managers and the owner of the place greeting him requesting him to taste different food items one by one and then uh, again so i said to myself here i am waiting for my turn to reach the cashier and then again i have to wait, wait to get my food and on the other side look at my father wow this is this is great uh, i think this is what work you know with my father is doing it looks very promising and interesting you know and then finally uh, so this thing had in this thing this This, this incident was in my mind you know right and finally that day had come when i mean i along with my parents were heading to an engineering college to pay the admission fees then my mother said वैसे तो तुझे अपने फादर का ही बिजनेस करना चाहिए आई डोंट नो दिस वुड साउंड अ लिटिल फिल्मी बट वी एक्चुअली टुक अ यू टर्न द नेक्स्ट द वेरी नेक्स्ट यू टर्न एंड रिटर्न्ड आवर होम सो आई थिंक दिस वाज माय डेस्टिनी टू एंटर टू अ इन अ इन अ होटल मैनेजमेंट कॉलेज एंड देन यू नो हेल्प न्यू एंट्रेंस इन द इंडस्ट्री एंड आल्सो स्टाफ हेल्पिंग द एस्टैब्लिश ब्रांच इन द इंडस्ट्री टू बेसिकली स्ट्रीम लाइन देयर प्रोसेसेस सो आई थिंक दिस इज माय डेस्टिनी आई वाज डेस्टिन टू डू दिस वंडरफुल समटाइम्स वी हैव सर्टेन थॉट्स About uh, our career options, but on the other side, uh, destiny have something else for us. That's correct. That's true. Right. That's so true. Right. True. I also so, experienced the same thing in my life. Correct. And uh, most people do uh, the same way. So if I talk about mm-hmm. things you are passionate about in your life, what are those things? I think this is uh, probably will not be a surprising coming from a restaurant and a Thai business consultant <laughs> that I love traveling. <laughs> I just.
just love traveling to different places experimenting with food exploring uh, different cuisines meeting new people i'm also very passionate about what i do professionally right and any other hobby interest or something like uh, you do in your past time uh, i just love uh, listening to music whenever i g- uh, get free i mean uh, that hobby i i had uh, since i was in school and i just love to be around uh, people who are very positive they they give lot of positivity to you to you and i like to be surrounded with uh, my friends i just try to take out some time be with my daughter now she is just me and it is so wonderful spending time with her that so, is the, you know i, I always look forward. yeah i always look forward to that Correct. so this is this is what i i i just love doing wonderful like spending time with your kids is uh, the wonderful thing uh, you ever had so if i talk about That's your good. work and experiences uh, like you already uh, mentioned about it i'd like to know more on to it how, like what all you do uh, as your routine business activities and how you manage your businesses our company uh, trident fnb consultants private limited is uh, with god's grace is one of the most awarded reality consulting organizations indulged in setting up resorts uh, so we are, we we are indulged in setting up resorts food courts qsrs sweet shop bakeries cafes high efficient high efficiency uh, base kitchens mithai factories namkeen and bakery plants uh, industrial and in- institutional catering divisions you know i love guiding new entrants in the hospitality indian indian hospitality industry wow uh, and also help uh, the already established brand who are like uh, some of our clients are like 100 years old okay 150 years old and wow. more than 100 years old so That's we great. help them so we help them in expanding their horizon expanding their business and streamlining their processes and day to day operation so this is this is uh, what keeps me occupied uh, professionally wonderful so that is kind of uh, interesting work i guess yeah very interesting i i just told you about that incident though where i i mean uh, i i was sitting i was just sat standing in the queue and my father right. sitting at the table so i would ju- also like to add on one thing that even though I, it was looking very fascinating to me at that point of time but later on i realized that uh, to reach that stage you know you have to really struggle a lot correct it's not that easy true when i was just uh, in my uh, like dreamy world just just coming out of the school life so it was it looked very easy to me so i i also thought that okay uh, you know i also get that uh, kind of uh, this thing uh, appreciation or maybe attention but in order to do that yes i am getting with god's grace i am getting but in order to do that i really had to struggle a lot correct you know, i need to i need to find my own way out in order to make that with that thing possible correct the legacy is there which is built by your father that is one aspect but the thing is when you uh, as a like uh, pressure start a business you have to build your own name because one two projects three projects maybe you can get by the name of your parents who have already uh, been great in that business but what after that so there you need to build up your own uh, like uh, brand so then you start i tell you getting more uh, recognition and more businesses i tell you this is not a like uh, departmental store or you know kirane ki dukan which my Correct. father father started and i can just sit there too it is a very different kind of business i mean imagine you are you are giving you are giving advices you are guiding people who are already who have, who, who have like spent their generations in the industry true. you know in order to basically talk with them to make sense basically be helpful to them you know so it requires a lot of uh, experience and uh, the struggle Correct. and you know this thing so but i am really enjoying what i am doing currently and when i joined my dad was I, i thought where am i right now i mean i did not understand anything okay. but then with time with time with, uh, when i spent a lot of time with um, my clients my project when i started to think from from scratch then i uh, came i i basically got the gist of it correct okay, correct okay, okay. and you uh, also mentioned that you have also uh, worked with many uh, brands which you helped them to open many outlets of their uh, own yes yeah, so uh, i'll just tell you about my client uh, one of them is uh, haldiram so when we joined hands with them they had only one small sweet shop in chandni chowk and okay. from there uh, my father has been giving consulting services to them wow and so so it's it's more than 30 years we are associated that brand and uh, we have got a very small uh, we, you can say that uh, we are also like having some small share maybe you can say in 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 expanding their business you know right uh, because 
फ्रॉम वन आउटलेट नाउ दे आर है हमारे बच्चों से कोई शादी नहीं करते उससे वो बोलते थे कि मिठाई वालों को देनी हमने अपनी बेटी यू नो राइट देन देन ब्रांड्स लाइक हल्दीराम ओम रीड बीकानेर वाला एंड के टू बी बीजी नाइट टू यू नो दीज ब्रांड्स दे हैव ब्रॉट सो मच रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ फॉर द मिठाई एंड नमकीन इंडस्ट्री राइट यू नो नाउ दे आर कंट्रीब्यूटिंग टू लाइक दे आर वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट सेक्टर्स इन इंडिया कंट्रीब्यूटिंग टू जीडीपी एंड यू नो सो फूड इंडस्ट्री वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट वन इट बट दे आर सेग्रीगेटेड लाइक दे आर अ स्मॉल प्लेयर्स बट स्टिल इफ वी टॉक इन टर्म्स ऑफ जीडीपी देयर शेयर is very huge also you need to understand that the em- employment that it this sector generates you know correct i think correct. It, it it needs to be taken more seriously definitely yeah and opportunities are immense so the now opportunities moving, are immense yeah moving on to the next one if i talk about your vision mission and goal for uh, next 5 to 10 years from now what do you think uh, that should be well i i will just tell you that my vision uh, i don't want to just restrict it to my company or myself i would like to see india as the वर्ल्ड गुरु तो जैसे हम कहले बोलते थे कि सोने की चिड़िया है मुझे वो चीज दोबारा देखनी है कि इंडिया जो है that it should lead the world and it, it, it gets the credit that has been uh, due correct and as far as my mission mission is concerned then i would like to do something for the poor and you know down trodden if you ask me my, about my goal in life i would say that my goal is uh, just winning hearts of the people i meet that's and really wonderful i i want to see my family and friends healthy want to see them uh, financially free as well correct and the the goal of my company is like my company envision in being a world class player in hospitality consulting right definitely and uh, my best wishes are with you and definitely you so uh, to your good work which you intend to do for uh, people who need help support so that's really wonderful thing and everybody should think in that way uh, i really appreciate so moving on to the next one uh, what are the most important life lessons you have learned from your personal and professional journey so far i think work hard on your goals practice what you want to become become in your life and and uh, this i have re- realized later on that you know you need you don't need to be a football of someone else's opinion right uh, wherever it is necessary you need to just stand up and say no whenever it is necessary correct you know and uh, stay honest to your own self and to others and right. help others right these are really uh, basic things but really important in life so personally also and professionally also i would say if we follow these things definitely the uh, the story would be different for everyone definitely 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 this is a so, game change changing correct so basics stick to basics and do great that is what we all should do yeah i i really uh, uh, like to say that you know i i try to follow what my father has taught me stay humble and grounded yes definitely so uh, like uh, you are into a uh, hospitality business and have a uh, good experience and exposure to the industry so i'd like to know from you is uh, if somebody is looking for uh, to start a small uh, restaurant business how that person can do so within a small budget 
profit of maybe 5 to 10 lakhs or if possible less uh, i strongly feel that most are entering the industry they do not f- perform the swot analysis you know swot analysis is very important for their that business uh, whether they are starting out uh, in, in a very slim budget or they have got immense budget but more swot analysis is something should be done by everybody who is trying to enter in the industry uh, as it, this is one of the most uh, important part you know in conducting an industry analysis for the restaurant business plan right since the budget is small so first of all we need to make that budget making a budget is very is very important this okay. include capital expenditure that is one time but a lot of people i have seen they they do not know of the expenditure of operating cost that this business would bring so they right. need to have some buffer you know uh, otherwise you must have seen a lot of restaurants they, they open and then they close down also in uh, one or two months only correct, so correct. they do not they, they have to consider the operating cost that this business is bringing right a uh, break then they also have to uh, do the analysis for the break even we should always assume the best and the worst scenario and do the break even analysis for both separately you know correct so the person who is entering with small budget site selection on the finalization of the location must be done keeping in mind the target uh, audience correct a uh, lot of time i have seen that uh, person uh, who is just entering he is thinking that my food is like what i'll be offering is for everybody so that's not true you need to have target audience ready you know correct and <coughs> site selection is very important you, you cannot go overboard in your uh, rentals you know and also you need to see uh, whether this this site will bring you business or not whether you will be able to sustain the initial correct. days or not correct then and uh, it is so important that a location suitable for a mithai shop may not be suitable for a resto bar and vice versa so right. then person entering in a in, in maybe mithai shop we always tell them that you know ground floor floor will be good for you right that to that to where people do not have to basically step on the stairs you know that 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 will be good but if a person is getting good uh, maybe uh, negotiated rentals uh, in uh, maybe rooftop so that rooftop location may be good for restro bar correct you know? it may not it, it definitely it will not be suitable for a mithai shop correct Nobody that would, would like be a worst idea <laughs> ji and concept should be very clear this will give you a clear picture of overall uh, you know concept for the uh, upcoming restaurant uh, what has in inspired you to choose the concept the food serving style the operations whether it will be qsr or fine dining or maybe any other concept you would like to bring to the table menu engineering is should be done in a proper way uh, whether the restaurant will serve multi cuisine or you know, speciality regional that is indian or chinese you know what are the uh, menu items that you would like to keep that particular cuisine which you have uh, uh, selected and market analysis should be done it includes right. market trends and competition and this and at the last day the i mean st- basically you should be ready with your budget and you should be sticking to it Correct. so i'll give you an example uh, we did one project in jammu uh, they were they, they were or like two friends uh, they had they had initially told us that we would like to do only only you will do our business because we have got we have uh, heard a lot of good reviews from other people uh, but i don't know if you will take up that or not because our budget is only 12 lakh okay and that too and that too we are generating this amount from some government scheme you okay. know they were just putting 4 lakh so 2 lakh 2 lakh of their own and uh, this is uh, government you know, funding amount yeah they they went for that uh, loan government loan so right. first of all what we did we just made that budget we gave them the project estimate that this that okay uh, like menu printing will give you uh, maybe it, it will incur this much cost uh, your main board you know in the outside the restaurant will have this much cost uh, your you, your pots and pans your uh, uh, maybe staff your uh, kitchen equipment your refrigerators your exhaust fresher your furniture and you know etc etc will incur this much cost right and we have to stick with that cost correct it is very important we cannot go overboard because we have got very limited budget in hand right so this is how this is how we we help people who are uh, having good budget or maybe do not have budget no correct so yeah our our goal is to basically help the people in entry right. into this industry that's great to hear uh, that if somebody is having a lesser budget they also can come and uh, seek your advices and guidance so uh, that would be a wonderful thing uh, and the advices you have made uh, within a small 
small span of like uh, this duration and you have mentioned everything which is important in business so that is really wonderful thank so you so much so if i talk about the cautions we need to take uh, while uh, carrying out the restaurant business so what are the precautions we need to uh, really take care of as per as uh, if it goes as per the regulatory guidelines or not that is also again uh, i think really important in food business so what are those uh, regulatory guidelines and precautions we need to be uh, really uh, taken care of See, uh, there is uh, one body by the name of fss ai yeah. so that is food safety and standards authority of india uh, that has been created for laying down the regulatory standards for articles of food and to uh, regulate their manufacture storage distribution sale and import to ensure availability of safe and wholesome food for human consumption so the uh, the regulations are already there the rules are already there and then the, uh, maybe to up the game there are good manufacturing practices gmp we call it that is also a very important part of doing the hsccp so right. that is again a technical term i just will give you the full form for this that is hazard analysis and critical control point so it is just to ensure whether we are following whether i mean doing the analysis for all the possible uh, hazards that are going to be there in the food right. and uh, we need to have a basically a control point in order to maybe uh, limit that you know and uh, so food safety system is there so uh, maybe it, some basic things we can definitely take up such as the cleanliness of the manufacturing plant the adequate maintenance of the production equipment the use of uh, suitable chemicals uh, for example chemical cleaning chemicals pest control right. within and around the food manufacturing unit uh, we need to for bigger organizations we always uh, give them the idea of setting up their own in house lab where they they can conduct uh, you know uh, maybe test uh, yeah, sample check and also to ensure whether the whether the, the staff hygiene is maintained or not so Correct. the swab tests are done you know at regular basis and also we can do the uh, uh, packaging material test we can we can do the test on raw materials and also the finishing finished goods also right uh, then we need to identify and know how to store the waste that is very important and uh, uh, we need to have a proper control in place for the foreign object there is lot of contamination in this finished good product so we need to have a check on that as well there are uh, various certifications there are very courses uh, which uh, the food uh, business operator should also uh, make sure that their staff undergo those courses and their this do those certifications right so these are the few basic uh, uh, things that we need to basically have a control of right. if we are so, into food business. so if we need to summarize it we can summarize it like quality of food so that includes uh, like raw material then processing and the finished product check on each uh, point then there is a uh, safety safety measures in terms of like uh, equipments and all the staff as well as the environment so safety and uh, safety uh, measures needs to be taken care of then the usage of chemicals should be uh, appropriate as per the uh, requirement pest control and wherever chemicals are used should be as per the norms and standards and uh, fourthly uh, would be like kind of uh, certifications and uh, like approvals which is uh, required from the authorities that also needs to be in place so i think uh, i summarized correctly in uh, these three four points yeah yeah right Thank definitely you. if there is any requirement for a if there is any requirement tomorrow in my project so maybe we have got one person ready where i can like, we, we can send you as a uh, maybe food regulator <laughs> <laughs> right right so moving back yeah. to you again uh, if i talk about you are you an introvert or an extrovert kind of a person while uh, meeting your customers or people i think i am an extrovert person i enjoy a social setting i uh, don't i mean i i don't uh, need a lot of time, alone time i definitely i like uh, my time alone as well but uh, i i thrive around people i like to uh, interact with people as i mentioned earlier you know and i uh, prefer to talk about my 
like uh, to discuss the people's problem and try to give them solutions i'm not afraid to maybe i'm not afraid of risk and i'm outgoing i'm optimistic i'm flexible too so i think i'm i'm an ex- extrovert that's great so uh, wonderful to hear about that so if i talk about the kind of support uh, we always need in our life whatever uh, activity we do whether personally professionally so same ways i'm asking you uh, who all were there to support you the most my friends first of all uh, my wife now uh, my friends and uh, my my clients who have, brought, who have shown a lot of trust in me correct so these are very important pillars in my life that's really important because uh, until unless you have support from family you would not be able to succeed uh, succeed in your uh, endeavors and also the trust from client is really Really important because without that, it is difficult to move ahead. Definitely, it is because of them we are today what we are. Correct. Their trust Correct. in us is very important. Right. So, how you uh, get your motivation and inspiration from? What are the ways? I would say my father, uh, Shri Sanjeev Sarin. He's he's been an inspiration not only to me but to thousands of people in the Indian hospitality industry today. Right. Uh, he has touched and changed so many lives through his sheer confidence, humbleness, and benevolence. I learn a lot of uh, things from him through his actions. He is truly a living legend. I would say his contribution to Indian mithai and homegrown Q. Uh, Our industry is enormous. Enormous, you know. Uh, so I would also like to mention one more incident where uh, I was just uh, talking to one gentleman. He's supposed to be a very famous chef. I met recently. Okay. He's mostly on uh, TV all the time. Great. So I met him. I I introduced myself as son of Mr. Sanjeev Sari. So he said, okay, okay. So uh, chef had had already worked uh, with my father, you know, in, in some five star properties when okay. my father was working. So. So my father actually started his career from Taj Hotel, 1978. So he okay. passed in 1978. Musa Bach passed out. Wow. From 78 to 91, he actually worked in the as, as as a professional chef. And in 91, he started his company. So it's already been 31 years that we are into. Wonderful. That's really wonderful. Yes. So I was talking to that chef and. Uh, Uh, I told him that you are a very famous, a very uh, celebrity chef. You know? So he told me that your your father is truly a celebrity chef, chef not me. Uh, I said, how come? He said the way he walks, the way he talks, you know, the way he interacts, it's very different. I have never seen that in my entire life. So imagine uh, that person telling about my father being a chef when my father has already left the industry. I mean that F and B production industry. He left his job in 1991, 30 years back. Wow. So such is the impact that my father is already having. You know, and if you have any problem going on in your life, be it professional or personal, you just discuss with him, and then you will come out happy and contented. Correct. You know, he has really taught me one thing that uh, the more. You grow. You must become more humble and more grounded. Correct. You know, कब कहाँ कब कहाँ कैसे क्या कहना चाहिए किसी को. One can definitely learn from him. Definitely. It's not exaggerating to say that whatever little whatever little I have achieved in my life is because of him. Correct. Parents' blessing is the best thing in the world. Without that, nobody जी. can uh, step ahead. That's really. That's right. an amazing and inspirational story uh, from your parents father uh, especially so now moving on to the next one if i talk about your take on success your thoughts about success what do you think success is to you uh, for me success means leading a balanced life it means that your uh, physical health your mental health relationship and mental peace they they should all be in good order you know there is no point getting a promotion on the day of your breakup if you are in a serious relationship with that the person and you could not give proper time to him or her you know correct because correct. of the professional engagement and eating at a five star hotel is not enjoyable at all if your mind is full of tension too you know there is no fun driving a rolls royce if your back back hurts so your success will only Have a meaning, true meaning. If there is harmony in your life, correct. That is my take on success. The way I look at things. Right, right. And also one more thing, uh, like uh, having or uh, owning a Rolls Royce, and you don't have uh, anybody to share that joy of ride in a Rolls Royce. Then also again, that Rolls Royce is of no. That's, that's so so true. You know, some 
<laughs> of course so i always uh, uh, you know i heard this i would like to just mention here maybe i can just uh, uh, like to make you people uh, make their be feel positive uh, that some people are so poor they are absolutely so poor so damn poor that all they have is money correct so we should not be such people so you have we everything try to have a balanced no relationship then also you are poor you have a relationship Definitely. full of happiness then you have everything in life definitely so i mean needing people are so busy in basically enhancing their own standard of living that they have forgotten to basically upgrade their standard of life Correct. that is more important Correct. you know standard of living is one thing and needing a stand, good good life is another true if i have got one car i would like to change it to a bigger car if i have one house i would like to change it to a bigger house that is that is that should be there but we should also have a harmony mental peace relationship we should not like have uh, we should have harmony in our relationship as well, as well. correct we should not only i mean uh, leading or maybe striving for your professional success will not have much meaning if there is no harmony correct in your mind in your in your life in your health correct i also quote one example of uh, mr rakesh jindmala so we all know that he he was he, he passed away recently. recently he passed away recently so one of the journalists you know he he asked him that uh, what do you regret in your life that you should have done your investment and you could not so he said that i really feel that i should have invested my health more correct. that was his answer correct because uh, on his last stage of life he was struggling with the uh, health that's correct correct so, so really for important. me success is leading a balance correct every aspect is important your uh, money is important your health is important relationship is important and your overall happiness like uh, mindfulness we would say is really important That's so true. that's true. really wonderful so moving on to the last one any any message advice you would like to share with our audience viewers and listeners i would say that don't take life seriously life is never meant to be taken seriously right. as we are really <laughs> we are really temporary here so start investing as early as possible in yourself Correct. and in terms of your uh, physical health mental well being and your finance uh, do not wait for miracles to happen you have to face the bad bad days yourself no one is going to come for you no one is going to do it for you the miracle that you are waiting for lies within you True. you know aur samay se समय के पास इतना समय नहीं है कि वो तुम्हें बार बार समय दे इसलिए ज्यादा वक्त इसलिए ज्यादा वक्त नहीं लगाना चाहिए कि हमें क्या करना है वरना वक्त डिसाइड करता है कि हमारे साथ उसको क्या करना है यू डिसाइड और destinating would decide time decide correct time decide so but Definitely. that's better to uh, like be thoughtful and uh, take your decisions wisely seek for opportunities opportunities are there definitely they are immense correct. just you just need to have an eye for that true that's true so it was really uh, amazing interaction with you i really enjoyed whatever uh, you have shared about your business your uh, story and also the uh, the inputs you have shared about the restaurant business it was really uh, wonderful and uh, I really appreciate Abhishek for your time, your energy, and your effort uh, for this session. And uh, I'm looking forward to hear more from you again soon, maybe on uh, some other topics from the industry. So that would be a thing which I'm looking forward to. And thank you, Abhishek, for your time. Really uh, wonderful. So pleasure uh, that you called here. Yeah, and, sure. Uh, uh, I mean, you have been such a nice uh, uh, host, and I would like to again thank you and all the listeners and viewers for this. Sure. Thank you very much. And and i will also share your uh, website and social media link so that people can be in touch with you uh, take your help and guidance if they are uh, like going to start a restaurant business or maybe the uh, segments which you cater on so that would be helpful to them as well and also uh, whenever i meet somebody who is uh, going to start into uh, this industry definitely i'll refer you uh, to that person for sure and uh, thank you so very thank much thank you so much thank you so much sure thank you so very much everyone for watching and listening i hope you all must have gathered a lot of information and enjoyed watching it don't forget to like share and subscribe have a good time thank you and bye bye